a lot of people are going to say he's a weapon. He's probably the biggest weapon on the planet right now, and he's going to become an absolute rock star of Australian boxing. Ranked number one in the cruiserweight division, IBF world champion Jayo Pattaya has proven himself as an elite level talent with a terrific skill set and the heart of a warrior. Opataya, you know, impressive with his footwork and his speed at cruiserweight, his athleticism in very good shape, moved around like a middleweight, you know, top dog at cruiserweight, and he replaces Cambosis for Australia. Oh, that could be made. Oh, there's a huge body shot. He. Oh, too many have been able to get these sorts of shots on Jai up a tyre. Has caused an injury to the hand of Kelleher. Yeah, so Kelleher in all sorts gets through to the top of the head of Kelleher, then goes to work to the body and over the top. Big shots coming in there from the left hand of up a tyre. And just Punches oh, down on him too, and Kelleher in all sorts of strife. He wears one to the body and... Where do you see yourself in terms of uh, uh, world boxing? Do you think you're the best cruiserweight on the planet? Without a doubt, man. I back myself all the way. I, I believe I'm the best cruiserweight uh, at the moment, 100%. And um, I'm just excited to sort of continue this journey and, and prove it to everyone now. Born and raised in Sydney, Australia, Jayo Pattaya had just turned eight years old when he was introduced to the sport of boxing. You know, I, I wasn't one of these kids or one of these people that just you know, that wandered into a boxing gym and was like, oh, you know, I like this sport, this, this is a good sport. Oh, boxing has been imprinted in me, you know, boxing, boxing's a part of who I am, it's religion to me, you know, like I've known nothing else but boxing. Like, he, he, like I grew up in the gym, I can't remember doing anything else. Opataya turned professional at age 20 as he began his conquest for a world title. The Australian southpaw stance, quick hands, agility, skill and explosive combinations allowed him to achieve 21 wins undefeated before earning the right to challenge Myris Bredis for a world title, a champion who arguably gave Alexander Usyk his toughest fight yet. Portions of this contest, oh good right hand from Bredis! This is the toughest fight you can have in the world at cruiserweight. This guy has beaten everyone except for the current heavyweight champ of the world, Alexander Ursik, who's got three of the belts, so he's a unified heavyweight champ. And even then, the, the fight went the distance, and I think there's only one or two points in it between the three judges. So it's fair to say this is the top of the tree in terms of hard fights, and, but I think Jai is up, uh, up to the challenge. You know, I waited a long time for this opportunity, and man, I can't wait. I feel ready. You know, I know he's a great fighter, but you know, I feel I'm the new generation of great coming through. The Australian challenging the best cruiserweight in the world for his title. Bradis v Opataya starts now. A 12-round war was underway as they engaged in a fierce and gruelling matchup in which both men endured sustained punishment and by the late rounds, Opataya had fractured his jaw on both sides as we watched him weather the storm and produce the greatest performance of his career. An incredible battle, an absolute war between two true warriors here on the Gold Coast, the badly disfigured Jai Opataya stays on his feet through 12 brutal rounds and maybe he's fulfilled his destiny here tonight. Jai earned his stripes as the new champion after having just outboxed the number one ranked cruiserweight, while pushing through a horrific injury that left him unable to speak in the post-fight interview. So I broke my left side of the jaw on the third third round, but um, yeah, I, I didn't tell my corner or anything like that. And then around the 10th or 11th round, the other side broke. By the 12th round, my, my jaw wasn't even connected to my uh, skull, so it was just sort of sagging down. But We'd seen how talented this guy is. We've seen how amazing his performances have been against that level of opposition. But to fight the lineal champion and to produce what he produced there, of course, they're going to think it's upset of the year, but he just solidified what we all knew already, what, what we knew he was, what, what we knew Joel was capable of. 
Opataya has since taken a one-year recovery layoff. His performance against Breedis caught the attention of major promoters as he recently signed with Matchroom Boxing. Jai Opataya is the best cruiserweight in the world. He's just beaten Breedis. He's the Ring Magazine champion. Why would I not want to sign Jai Opataya? 100%, I'm getting better. I'm 27, I'm, I'm almost hitting my prime. You know, I've I'm, I'm still got that dog in me, man. You know, they are ready. I'm telling you, let's go. The IBF champion returns on the 30th of September to make his first title defense against the unbeaten Jordan Thompson as he seeks to leave his mark on the division and acquire each and every one of the Cruiserweight world titles. We'll, we'll keep training intense, we'll keep staying, you know, hungry and um, we'll wait for this next fight because the, the journey's only just started, you know. The, the, the world title's opened up another door and now we've got one of them and now it's time to collect them all. So.